Hi, my name is Kathleen Houlihan. I am the Nutrition Education Coordinator at the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina. Hey everybody, I'm Matt Dauphin. I am a Warehouse and Network Services Associate at the Food Bank as well. So my involvement with RAP started, I want to say, in 2019 um, when I was the volunteer coordinator. So we had a public health intern who was placed here to do nutrition education lessons with the students. And then once I transitioned into this position, my involvement with them just grew from there. And uh, I've been working at the food bank for uh, going on about two years now. And in the whole time that I've been uh, working at the food bank, every time Mr. Dockery comes by to shop, um, we always help him out and give him some food to help feed the kids that come through his program. And um, throughout that time, uh, Mr. Dockery has just been super consistent and, and the rest of his team have been super consistent in, in their uh, serving of the community and, and using the food bank as a resource to do that. So in my job as nutrition education coordinator, we work with our agencies to help empower and um, give our clients dignity and educate them to make the healthier choice. And so with that, when I started in this position, one of the grants that we were working on was to bring more produce and healthy options into after school kids programs. And so what we did um, for about five to six months, I wanna say, we created meal kits um, for RAP and their families. And so that came with um, a recipe, a handout, um, the bulk items of that recipe. So the first one that comes to my mind is chicken, broccoli, mac and cheese is one that we did. So each family got a box of mac and cheese. They got about two pounds of broccoli. They got the spices that went along with the recipe and then obviously the recipes so that we were able to give the families everything that they needed to make this recipe at home, kind of putting a healthy spin on mac and cheese. In addition to that, we also did each month just a healthy mixed produce bag that came with a recipe so that those produce bags ranged anywhere from cabbage to sweet potatoes. Um, I know that this last month we were able to do strawberries and grapes, which I think is the first time that we've been able to get fruit, um, which is, really awesome and has been really cool. The strawberries smelled fantastic. So my job at the food bank, um, I'm sort of a hybrid role between working in the warehouse and I also serve uh, partly as a liaison sort of between the food bank and uh, all of our partner agencies uh, like RAP. Um, so when partner agencies like RAP come to shop with us at the food bank, um, they're able to walk around and, and see all the different kinds of product we have. We have tons of canned goods, uh, fresh produce, some meat, although uh, recently because of the pandemic, we've had a lot of supply chain issues. So uh, things like meat and canned meats are sort of harder to come by. But um, when agencies come shop at the food bank, um, they're able to you know select from a, a wide range of different products um, and really tailor uh, what they receive from us to their clients needs specifically. Um, I know Daryl uh, participates in our kids cafe program um, so he's actually able to special order a bunch of stuff that is specifically really good for kids. We serve food in in pretty large quantities so every time a uh, wrap comes by to shop we usually give them anywhere between uh, like two and five thousand pounds of food um, and you know, some agencies take more than that, some take less, but uh, you know, we're, we're pretty well equipped to serve our agency's needs. Yeah, and in addition to that, um, when Daryl comes to shop, I'm also still doing those mixed produce bags, and I wanna say the ones that we delivered um, in March was just over 500 pounds of straight produce, so they get a hefty amount. And again, like Matt said, depending on the size of the agency, it can be anywhere from 500 pounds to 2,000 pounds. So it really just depends on the needs of the agencies themselves. So at the food bank, um, across um, all of the six branches that we work with, we cover 34 counties. And so we have a branch in Raleigh, we have a branch in Durham, we have one in Greenville, and then New Bern out in the Sand Hills region. And then we're based here in New Hanover County. So out of our branch, we cover um, New Hanover County, Brunswick County, Columbus, and Pender. Once we move into the new building, um, I think we'll be picking up Duplin, is that yes, correct? So we, we will be will. serving five counties. Um, in those five or in those four counties that we are currently serving, I wanna say it's about 70,000 people are not entirely sure where their next meal is coming from. 
And in New Hanover County, for kids, that ranges between one in four and one in five kids. And so what we are trying to do at the food bank is work with agencies like RAP to decrease those numbers as quickly and as efficiently as we can. So we are kind of set up to be the support system for our agencies. So our agencies can be after school kids programs, churches, food pantries, um, soup kitchens, just a really wide variety of a lot of different um, organizations trying to work towards the same thing. And out of the Wilmington branch alone, uh, in those four counties, uh, we serve just under 100 partner agencies. So um, our network of partners is, is extremely valuable to us. And honestly, um, all of our work hinges on, on them, on their efforts and, and their ability to serve the community. Definitely. So if, if any sort of program, like a kid's cafe program, after school program, or, or a food pantry or soup kitchen, uh, wanted to become a partner agency with the food bank. Um, it's really just a couple step process. Uh, we have open houses about two or three times a year uh, where we'll have a meeting and we'll invite um, any sort of prospective partner agencies to uh, come meet with us and we sort of just explain to them, you know, what we do as sort of a bulk distributor of, of food, you know, amongst a, a whole lot of other things. But, um, and after that open house, uh, agencies can submit an application. Uh, myself and and some other people in the uh, food sourcing and network services team um, will review those applications. And based on um, you know how well established a program is, or or how well planned out a brand new program is, um, we either accept or decline partnership. And for individuals who are looking for food assistance, the food bank is set up more of to be as a distribution center to support our partner agencies. But when you get online and you search food assistance, oftentimes the food bank is the first place to come up. And if you did not click on the website, you would end up at the food bank. We love it when this happens because we are a great place to start. We have. Um, a box of food that we can give and we also have this really great list of resources so depending on whether you're in new hanover county pender county columbus or brunswick we have this really great list of resources that matt and aaron have put together um, that list all of our partner agencies the programs that they run whether they're a kids program whether they're a food pantry whether it's a shelter or hot meal program the um, it's organized by zip code, so everything is really easily locatable. Um, so we send um, our clients with that information and then also a box of food so that if they are not able to get somewhere immediately, they've got a little bit of support and leeway so that maybe they can get somewhere tomorrow or the next day. You know, although we're not really the place to come to get food consistently when you're in need, um, it is a great idea to stop by because we can absolutely uh, point you in the right direction uh, for whatever kind of, of services you need. As far as contact information goes, a great place to start is our website. So our website is www.foodbankcenc.org. And then you can go through um, the list of our branches and it'll give you the phone number, um, the contact information for the branch director, who is also a really great resource. So if you were to end up on the phone with our branch director, Beth, she would definitely be able to help you or direct you to whoever you might need to talk to. Um, but yeah, our phone number I would not probably give out. Yes. <laughs> and um, honestly, my, my email, my work email is mdau phin at foodbankcenc.org. Um, really, it's my job to work with the community. So if, if you're, you are uh, looking to become a partner agency or are just curious about what the food bank does, or if you're in need of any kind of food assistance services, um, talking to me is a good place to start. Perfect. Um, just want to say that working with RAP um, since being in this position has been such a wonderful experience. Daryl and everyone here have the biggest hearts um, and they do such wonderful things for the kids in our community. Um, really looking forward to continue to work with them in the future. Please be sure to like, subscribe and share this video. It helps us reach more people who could use our help.